Good morning, everybody. Thank you for being at the webinar today. So today the webinar is on the mini ascension pyramid. So just to make sure you guys can see where I've put the uh, the coupon code for those who are, who are live here, I typed it up. Um, and let's see. So we will begin today as we try to usually do by going into the sacred space of the heart. But also with the mini pyramid, just like all of the tools that we create here at Twisted Sage, they are higher dimensional tools first and foremost. They're anchored into the physical through the sacred measurements, um, just like the rings are, just like the straight line cubit measures are. So this whole and complete piece with the five components is anchoring in this larger energetic pyramid. So most people who look at the website or at the photos can see the energy, feel the energy that comes off the tools. So today I would like to walk you guys into the sacred space of the heart and give you an opportunity to hold space, to feel what you feel with this pyramid. All right, so. All right, well, good morning, everybody. It's good to see everybody here today. Awesome. I was just reading the chat. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to have you close your eyes or leave them open to go into the heart space. And first, just putting your attention onto your physical heart that place where you find your light, your soul's fire. Taking your light from within your heart, and this is just a visualization and imagination and intention. Watch that light from your heart. Send that light down into the earth, all the way down to that crystal sun of the earth, that heart of Mother Earth. And as your light connects with that heart of Mother Earth, the light of the Earth, breathe that up into your heart. So just taking a deep breath. Breathe all that light up through your feet, through your body, into your heart. Next, how do you connect with Source, Soul, Creator, God, Central Sun, however you see and say that? the heart of the universe. Just breathe in that unconditional loving, healing light right down into the heart as well. And then a third breath, bringing both those energies together. Mixing them around and expanding them both up and down so you are that column of light that is grounded connected and in the heart space. So next imagine standing right here inside of the pyramid. It's just a imagination from within the heart space is where all this higher consciousness consciousness work takes place. Just an imagination and an intention. All right. So we're going to do the webinar. And then we'll come back later after the webinar. And we're going to do some energy work with the pyramid after the webinar. So please do stay tuned. But for now, we will go through and do all the basics of a webinar. Please do uh, ask questions here on the chat. You're welcome to do that. But we're just going to go through the sky piece by piece. Um, so the mini ascension pyramid is something that we've been playing with here for a few months. You know, we had the, the, the first uh, larger pyramid that we had that was the 60 degree angle pyramid that was connected to the Bosnian pyramid complex. That one is permanently housed here at Twisted Sage Studios. Um, 
phenomenal pyramid, but it's, it's supposed to be anchored here. So we wanted to create some more portable versions that we could actually get out to the general public. So we created the Ascension Pyramid. So there is the Ascension Pyramid webinar as well that you're welcome to check out. But for the mini pyramid, we start off with the Gaia Sphere. Now this is the three inch regeneration Gaia Sphere. Um, the Golden Fire isn't gonna be the ones to do it, but the, the three inch regeneration Gaia Sphere is the one that is connecting down to that crystal sun within the earth. It is connecting up to that higher light. Um, however you see and say that, we see it as bringing in your soul's light more. And, and as it's bringing in that soul's light and it brings you into the heart space, it grounds you in with the earth, it connects in there, it expands, and it expands throughout the earth of the light of the regeneration Gaia sphere, the light of the earth, and your light. And they just expand out from there together really a super phenomenal tool so this is the one that comes with the mini pyramid kit is the three inch regeneration next we have the home set of the harmonic creation field trio now the harmonic creation field trio contains the earth resonance ring from dancing with water that we make for them the golden fire and the regeneration ring so this set of three rings together is phenomenal. Um, please do check out the webinar on the Harmonic Creation Field Trio. And we walk you through a meditation there to where you're standing within this column of light, bringing in your light and clearing miscreations. So again, with this set, um, it's bringing that energetics into the pyramid as well. Everything that the Harmonic Creation Field Trio does. And this is just actually that particular set of water rings. Now, we'll get into this a little bit later on alternatives. Well, I'll just tell you right now, alternatives for pieces to this pyramid. These five components are very specific, but their size is not specific. If you happen to have the small harmonic creation field trio set or the large eight and a half inch regeneration Gaia sphere, you can use another size, but they have to be these specific ones to bring through the energetics of the Ascension Pyramid. Um, so anyway, if you have the small set, then you can actually order the pyramid without the rings and use your small set. So we, we wanted to make basically set up the website that way, so that way you can actually get parts and pieces as you move along, which is really a powerful thing to do because a lot of these tools are just so phenomenal as they're standalone tools like the Wings of Talk. Now the Wings of Talk, again, we did a webinar on this one. So this one as part of what it's doing with the pyramid is it is also like the Gaia Sphere, grounding, connecting, creating a larger field. Um, so with the Wings of Talk, is, this is also part of what is bringing through that blue light, which is such a healing light. Um, and then also through this pyramid comes a silver light and a gold light. And of course the gold light, um, a lot of that is the golden fire measures, which is what the poles are made out of is the golden fire measures. So these are a specific um, section of a golden fire that is gonna produce that frequency, um, but it's nothing that, okay, so let me back up there. This guy here, the sacred measures of this are of the golden fire. Now with the pyramid, we have these cables. When you get this or when you transport it, you can simply push these cables inside and then they're all housed within. So when you receive it, you'll receive it like this. Um, I would suggest using a pair of gloves if you want to keep it nice and bright and shiny because the copper pipe will patina, especially with your hands. And it's no big deal to patina. If you live in a high humidity area, it's going to patina. But um, basically, it's not going to change the energetics. It is simply aesthetic. So when you would receive this pyramid, basically, you would just pull these out and set it up so that it makes a perfect... 90 degree angle, a perfect square. So then 
The last component is the cosmic sun disk. So the cosmic sun disk, and this is the torus, because we call it the torus because it's actually creating a toroidal field. It is the two seed of lives, the six petals, and another six petal on the back. So it's the two seed of lives that are ratcheted to create the 12 petals. Now this is, it's also a crop circle in 2009, but it's known as the torus because it is creating that toroidal field. So the cosmic sun disk is one that is really high connecting. It's made of three generation rings. Um, this is the one that we are seeing. It is coming in and putting a spin rate through all of the molecules within the physical body. So it is bringing the spin rate of your physical up in vibration, clearing dense energies. Um, and that's all part of what the whole pyramid structure is doing is it is clearing dense energies within the physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, everything. Um, so those are all the parts and pieces to the pyramid. I was just checking to see if we had any questions here yet. Um, again, you guys are welcome to ask questions. There is the basic description for this pyramid on the website. Um, and then too, it talks a little bit more about the pyramid, the larger ascension pyramid and the energetics of the larger ascension pyramid is going to be basically the same as this, a comparison between the mini pyramid and the larger eight foot pyramid is simply the eight foot pyramid it's more intense on the inside. Uh, the eight foot pyramid, basically you're standing within the toroidal field. So if you think of um, both the pyramids on the outside are gonna be creating that same field around them. But when you are on the inside of the larger pyramid, that is where you're in the center of that torus, like I say. So this will pr produce that toroidal field, that spinning field donut shaped spinning field all the way around this um, about the size of your home so when we have the physical one here the energetic one is actually a larger energetic pyramid that expands to go around your home and farther and basically as the when we did the channel work with brenda when we were at my sister brenda asking her to do um, the reading on this because she does all the readings on the tools and basically the way she was being shown it was that it'll expand to meet your needs because again all the tools that we create are working with our higher selves and our higher selves of everybody within their field so basically where a lot of these tools like the ascension chambers you know we've people claim to clears cancer addictions all kinds of fun stuff it's not going to affect anybody that part of that dis-ease is not, if, if that part of that dis-ease is part of their soul's journey, this cannot clear that, you know, and that's the same with any energy workers that, you know, anybody works on is that if it is part of their soul path for their soul growth and learning, um, none of these tools will violate that. It'll hold the space for that higher connection. Um, and again, too, that's that's part of it is that this works in such higher spaces. Now, this particular pyramid is connecting throughout all universes. So it's an interesting concept because we used to see that there was multiple universes and this was a separate one. This is only a separate one based on like dimensions, bandwidths. So we're seeing that all universes are within this one. They're just different slices. They're different bandwidths of frequency. Kind of like how we are here within these different dimensions and we're, we are aware of a certain bandwidth of frequency, this physical reality and the emotional and a little bit more. Some of us that, you know, we are, are more sensitive can be aware of higher bandwidths within this section of frequency, such as the angelics, ghosts, waywards, entities, um, you know, aura fields, all that fun stuff is still within this whole bandwidth. Now, the pyramid is going through all of those different levels and layers. Another way to explain this is we're the human. And as energy workers, healers, most of them will see like cancer, let's say, 
begins in your emotional field. And then that manifests down into the physical. And so it is those things that begin here for creation in those higher fields. And then as it steps down, it steps down into this physical density reality. So that's really why the, all these tools are doing what they're doing for all the huge clearing, healing, everything else um, is, is that they are working on those higher dimensional planes. So we are doing the work up here, which then manifests down into the physical reality. So let's see. Let's check out some questions. All right. So Christopher asks, if we spray lacquer on them to stop tarnishing, um, yeah, you can certainly spray a clear coat on the pyramid. We've actually done that before. Um, we've experimented with different waxes, different clear coats. Um, basically, when you put any kind of a lacquer or a clear coat onto these, it'll automatically dull them up right away. Kind of like how you see this big fruit of life back here. Those were all bright and shiny rings until the moment they hit the, the resin and then they get more of that patina look. Um, but yeah, you can certainly experiment with that. And I'd go, just go to the hardware store and get a small section of pipe and spray lacquer on it just to see if that's the effect that you want to get from it. But it won't affect the energetics whatsoever. Let's see. Pamela asked, does the coupon code apply still if we purchase parts of the pyramid kit? Yes, the, the coupon code that's available to all live participants um, goes to not only the kit, but all parts and pieces to the kit. Um, one last thing about the kit. This was the other option that you have for the, the mini sun disc. If you have the three inch sun disc, you can use that in place of the large one. Energetically, it's going to be doing the exact same thing. I just really like the large one. Um, but the kit itself comes with the eight and a half inch cosmic sun disc, the wings of talk, the home trio set, the three entry generation Gaia, and your poles. So, part of again, what the one of the components, the poles. The 60 degree angle is a huge thing. This isn't connected to your standard Egyptian pyramids. The Egyptian pyramids were connected to a whole different earth grid holding third density reality in place. The 60 degrees are, they're more related to higher geometries. They're related to things not necessarily just related to this planet. Like let's say the, the Bosnian pyramid complex, that first 60 degree pyramid we did for the Bosnian pyramid, um, those aren't connected anywhere on the planet except for that single point where those pyramids are. Otherwise, they are an intergalactic interplanetary grid system. These particular ones here aren't necessarily connected into any grids. They're basically just a field emitter. They're holding space. Um, if you watch on the Ascension Pyramid video towards the end, we also walk you through into that field of neutrality, which is what these guys are holding. Um, then Christopher asks, can, oh, this is Chris Martel. Hey buddy. Um, can extensions be added to the four legs and what would the proper length be for these? So yes, that is actually something that we have in the works is to create a extension package for these to where basically you can add extensions onto the legs. Um, and if you do get one of these and you do want to add your own extensions, you can certainly do that. Basically, we would just use that standard TO2 econ unit, that STU measure, which is the golden light rod. That is um, a perfect measure, and that's one that we have available out there. It's on sacredmeasures.com. And that specific STU cubit measure is one that you can just go to the hardware store, you can buy your half inch copper tubing. But if you end up doing that, you have to basically where the 60 degrees is. So I'll show you how you would add your extensions is this length right here is the same as the length that goes through the center is the same as the length on the opposite leg. So this right here that you're seeing is an equilateral triangle. So each one of these angles from your opposite legs 
are 60 degrees. So basically, if you added extensions, you would just need to measure from the top to your foot, and that is how far apart this foot and the opposite foot are. But we're actually going to end up making a, um, a couple of different options. One of them is going to be a sitting pyramid option where basically you can buy the poles from us. But because of the sacred measures, they'll have the cables, the caps, to where you'll slide those on. And it'll be a pyramid that's, you know, four feet tall approximately. And then that is something that you can have within the home that you can sit within. And then at some point in time, we will create the, ex the other expansion set, which will allow this to be an eight foot pyramid. But with that, you won't have the connectors that hold the torus in. So if you watch the Ascension Pyramid video, um, there's actually these fancy connectors that we custom made that hold the torus up inside. Now, one thing about the pyramid too is that you don't have to have it set up like this. Um, at the studio, we actually put an activator on the top and we put a larger sphere. I don't have one that size, that eight and a half inch regeneration sphere. We actually put that down in the base. Um, you know, you can add tools to this. You're going to add crystals to this. You can set it up however you want. It's just whenever the components are all together here is when it is creating this Ascension Pyramid field. Um, you can just pile all components right in the middle if you wish, and it is going to be doing the work. So at the studio where we put the larger Gaia sphere in the center, that is one that um, when Mary answers the phone there and somebody's having a tough time, she'll write their name down on a piece of paper and she'll put it right inside the Gaia sphere. So basically it is holding space. It's kind of like a radionic broadcaster in that it holds space, um, you know, perfectly like that. So let's see, just some other questions. Will the Cosmic Sun Disc be attuned by Brenda? No, if you actually want to get a Sun Disc that has the attunement to Brenda, you'd actually have to just buy everything in its own parts and pieces. Um, otherwise, this unit that comes here, the Ascension, the Mini Ascension Pyramid Kit, has just your standard eight and a half inch Cosmic Sun Disc. There's, uh, there's no attunement to it. But that's the thing is we all we started offering the cosmic sun discs as an option to have the attunement by brenda now basically because brenda is the one who assembles all the rings and puts the discs together and so if you decide to purchase the attunement i think it's like 44 bucks more um what you get is um basically kind of like a session with brenda she will attune this device to your soul's light as she's doing the work. And in order to do that, she goes through, she does all the basic cleaning and clearing. She does just the basic energy work with you. So it's kind of like getting a basic um, session with Brenda. And, and of course, Brenda is one of the most phenomenal healers on the planet as far as I've seen because she doesn't, she's so much in her heart that she doesn't get taken down rabbit holes. She's very much in alignment, channels her soul. She works with you soul to soul. She talks to the innate consciousness of the human body. So between the body, the soul, she can find what's going on. And then she works with you, with your mind, and helps you bring in your light to do the work. Um, phenomenal work. But anyway, if you did get a session with Brenda to attune your cosmic sun discs, that is a, something that you would have to just buy the, the pieces to the pyramid individually and choose that option. All right. Well, there's people from all over here today. Sorry, I'm just looking over over here at my screen and seeing everybody that's coming in on chat today. So, um, all right. Cool. And, and Tanya just says she just superimposed the, the pyramid all over the planet to anchor in the fifth D. So, we're going to actually do some energy work here um, for any of you guys who want to stick around and do some energy work after the official webinar is over. So as far as the webinar goes and as far as this construction goes, if there's no more questions, we'll probably just end it there. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else to say about this. Um, 
one thing is most of us that have these we end up putting them in our bedrooms that's just kind of where they end up migrating um they the field off of them is just it's such a peace a calm um you know once and please do read the the description the channel information description that we had on um on this pyramid and oh and tasha asked is it safe to leave up in the bedroom while sleeping yes most definitely now i've slept with the larger pyramid the eight foot one and the 13 foot one above my bed i wouldn't recommend it i mean it's fun for maybe one night maybe but um yeah it's a little intense inside of the larger pyramid but for the small pyramids for them sleeping with um just like any of the tools like the the big practitioner rings things like that if you were sleeping with these tools in your field and you have not experienced these tools before you may have two or three nights of restless sleep but then after that after all the work is done the major shifting work you're going to sleep very soundly it's um it's a phenomenal sleep with these tools and um for like my mom she's had she's woke up every morning with anxiety most of her life it and we've been doing energy work with that for years it took setting this up in her bedroom to where she wakes up without anxiety ever since we set it up so that's been a huge thing um <clears throat> excuse me so tasha asks is it safe to drive in the car with this <laughs> actually i have a mi micro version of this guy on the dash of my car i love it um so yeah of course with all the tools um you know once you're used to the tools uh yeah they don't cause any issues and that's the thing about this particular one is that once you are connected with this where it's so grounding and that's the thing is that this is very grounding expansive far-reaching everything um, because all the work that we do right now it is basically about being up here bringing all this in clearing everything connecting bringing it in and grounding it into this physical reality and this physical reality um, so the the tools here especially this guy is very much grounding in that way um, let's see and christopher can this help with manifesting okay so manifesting is quite the concept because there's multiple levels of creation and so the higher we step the more in alignment we are with source creation and if we as the human can be very much in alignment with creation surrender not be in control because manifestation has so much control perspective behind it so yes this will definitely help with manifesting but maybe not the way that you are from this perspective and in your form of control are this will help manifesting the higher creation from you from the bigger you it's it's and the whole new paradigm is about surrender surrendering to your soul the first is the cleaning clearing anchoring grounding work then after that then you can surrender to the soul and just be in the flow and and then that's the manifest ginger frost why a sun disc and not a moon disc um well please do check out the cosmic sun disc webinar um cosmic sun discs connect to um basically a central sun um is what a lot of people see i'm connecting at all right so anything else for the webinar um again please do read the description on the product page because there's there's some great information there um so yeah i guess we will let this go as our webinar. Thank you for joining me today. And now then, if any of you guys would like to stick around, any of you guys, gals, multidimensional beings, would like to stick around, we will do some playing. All right, so this is where we are gonna do energy work with this pyramid and 
like all of our tools, you don't have to actually own the physical tools because these are quantum tools. They're higher dimensional tools. Um, one of the huge things about this particular pyramid is how it is bringing in that quantum heart. So basically, this is connecting to the heart of Gaia, the heart of Mother Earth. And it is also connecting into the heart of creation, into the heart of the universe, which is multidimensional. So when those are both brought together within the pyramid, then it is expanding out and it is expanding out that quantum heart, which that is simply, it, it's a very new concept to us, um, or at least far as conscious awareness of it is. But this quantum heart, it is part of you. It is part of your light. So basically when this is connecting in with the light of the earth, when this is connecting in the light of creation, um, the light of creation, you are a part of that. So this is bringing in your light more. That's the way all these tools are, is that they're helping to bring in your light more. Um, so, you know, Ed, to give you kind of a, an idea of that. So it's an interesting thing. Um, I was having a real tough time here last week. I felt like I couldn't connect. I was disconnected, everything else. Well, when I had Brenda look at me, basically she saw me very much the heart expanded, connected into Gaia, connected into the cosmos. But there was the human aspect of me that wasn't connecting into that aspect of me. So it was just simply my own human stuff, which it's, you know, we, we all keep bringing all that stuff up to clear, especially right now we're filming this in the end of March, 2020. So that is part of what is going on here on the planet and the collective is the releasing of fear, the releasing of old junk in a huge way. And so for me as the human, I wasn't able to connect into myself. That is so big and connected. Now the pyramid, that big connected being that we are, the pyramid is helping to bring that even greater expanding that even more that of who we truly are so this pyramid is helping to bring in that of what we truly are giant expansive and then it is for us to do the simple easy work to connect to what we are so that's kind of what we'll do today with the pyramid is we will get into here and we will connect to who we are and from there, when, so, okay, so I'm just going to kind of get all the heady stuff out of the way before we actually do the energy work here, before we do the journey work. So, so much of this whole thing when I was talking about the whole new paradigm of surrendering, <clears throat> excuse me, the whole new paradigm of all energy work is... <clears throat> stepping out of the way as the human because the human has limited perspective it is very much been all of our lifetimes connected into with the ego with the beliefs with survival with you know the that style of instinct um and so we are changing we're stepping into a whole new paradigm of everything being right now and so part of that is letting go of the control letting go of the programs of control so basically everything that's going on in the world we are seeing things many people are seeing things from perspective here and that perspective here is a perspective of fear um it is a perspective of hey we got to fix this we got to fight against this and i mean there's there's huge meditations out there global meditations where Oh, we got to fight and destroy this virus and, you know, and the cabal and the monetary system and war, 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 fight. And, you know, it's, it's all stuff that is based on, on the old style of, of fear and of not being in the heart and surrendering. Um, sorry, I went down a whole different tangent rabbit hole than what um, I needed to be. Basically, what I'm trying to say is talk about is the field of neutrality that is based within this pyramid. So 
the old ways of duality and that's basically everything that I was given the examples for was the old way of duality and duality was a part of creation it, we had to have the good the bad the dark the light that was what fueled the engine of creation that yin yang that is what fueled the engine of creation and so now we're stepping into a different space beyond duality beyond that way of creating within the universe and that's why we're having to drop all of our stuff right now is because as we step into a clean slate here onto this blank canvas we are going to be creating we are creators and we don't need to create recreate in the same way that we have always known to create and so that's why it is about being in the heart space connecting and clearing and releasing and surrendering those are the steps and so when we step into the field of neutrality and we try to do work like let's say with the virus or the world or entities or whatever it is that that we feel is non-beneficial when you step high enough away from everything you see that everything is truly divine everything is a part of creation no matter how it presents no matter how if it presents as dark malicious and that's the work that we've been doing for the past several years is we've been doing the work with these beings who we have felt were interfering with the free will of humanity and they were malicious and dark and doing this and you know and those who who had control of the old grid lines and were feeding off of humanity all that fun stuff you know it's like you get into that point of it's almost like God, I consider myself a galactic police for a long time because, you know, it was the work that I was always doing. And then after, you know, along the way, basically source soul had us take a look at things in a whole different perspective as we step back farther and higher that when we look at something, we see that it is simply playing out the part of the duality matrix. It is playing out the part of being the dark, the malicious one. That is part of the fuel of creation. That is a part of the game that we've been here to play. So as we've been working with these larger beings that we thought were interfering with the free will of humanity and harnessing energy, all that fun stuff, when we go to them, we were then having to see them as a spark of divinity that their soul light their divine spark within the heart we would go to that we would expand it we would connect them to their higher selves and at that time once they were connected higher then they dropped their agendas and walked away because they were simply playing their part in this duality matrix experience and so if we do any energy work with the pyramid we need to be in that space of neutrality that space within the heart and that space of neutrality where we're going to hold space and know that our perspective from here isn't necessarily the right perspective because it can only see things of experience and of feelings and of things like that so we need to be able to step farther beyond so that's why we ensure that we're in the heart space we go in that field of neutrality and then when we're in that field there doesn't seem like there's anything wrong in the world and that's such a beautiful thing um because then we bring everything that was bothering us up into that field of neutrality and it shifts it so instead of talking about it more let's just step in and play all right just reading some comments here awesome a lot of great people on today thank you guys again for being here 42 of us 43 of us here today all right so we'll begin by going into the heart space again and again all the journey work that we do is simply being in the heart space using a visualization and imagination and so what we're going to do is visualize and imagine yourself within this pyramid and when you're in here it is going to bring in your light it is going to ground you connect you and we're going to go into that space of neutrality 
and again when we do energy work we always do ourselves first just like when you are in a plane and you put on your mask first we take care of ourselves first then after that we can work with our family then after that we can work with the world but we always have to get ourselves in a space first all right so you can close your eyes or leave them open if you wish Putting your attention to your physical heart. Breathing in that energy of the earth. Breathing that up from the earth right into the heart space. Next, taking in a deep breath from source, soul, creation, God. Breathing in that energy of creation into the heart. And then breathe in both those energies together within you, earth, sky, and you. And see yourself as a column of light. You are grounded into the earth. You are connected into creation. You're in the heart space. Now see your column of light right here inside of the pyramid. So as you stand inside of this pyramid, as that calm of light that you are. It's like this rainbow column comes through this, all these rainbow sparkles of light are just pieces of you throughout all existence within this universe that your soul is. So as all particles of light of you are coming right into that calm of light that you are, you can bring those into every cell and into your heart. So when you are standing within this pyramid and you are a column of light, what happens instantly is that it ignites your cells. So if you can first visualize, let's step back again. Let's visualize the cells of your body the same as your heart. Your heart is a giant sun. So my apologies, everybody. We're going to start from the beginning here just to go step by step of what happened so you can recreate this without having to use a pyramid. Let's go back to where we are a column of light. We are grounded. We are connected. We are in the heart space. As you are in your heart space and you are full of your light, you're full of the light of the earth, you're full of the light of the universe. Expand that light out so that it expands through every cell of your physical body. It expands out into your field, into your emotional fields. It just keeps expanding out into all that you are. Awesome. Now then visualize every cell of your physical body in this right here and now and see every physical cell as a little sun. As a little sun, as a little galaxy and it just ignites. And as your light and the light of the earth and the light of the universe all come through any dense energies, it just clears them. Dense energy, darkness is simply compacted light. When divine awareness comes to it, it changes it, it releases it, it transforms it, it sends it into a higher vibration. So we are changing our physical body into a higher vibrating body. just check in with your physical body if you feel any spots that are dense or painful just expand that light from your heart into every cell within that area just keep expanding that light awesome 
Awesome. Now again, let's step within the pyramid. Within that rainbow column of light, it's just bringing in more of your light. It's bringing in more of your light into every cell, into each of those little galaxies of your cells, into that heart, which is a creation sun right there. It's just bringing all that light that you are throughout the known universes and beyond. This includes past lives here on the earth. And as it brings in all of that, that you are, let's say your past lives, it is clearing. Okay, now we're gonna do an exercise that Brenda does. So as you stand there as that being of light that you are, have your soul stand before you. To me, the soul just looks like this big golden being. Have your soul stand before you. And we're having the intention of clearing programs and traumas that no longer serve us throughout all lifetimes. So just allowing, don't direct this energy, just hold space and allow the soul to go through, releasing traumas, transforming those, clearing programs, all the way back to the beginning of humanity clearing that program of suffering. Just releasing that. And releasing all those sub-programs such as lack, self-worth, And as you are connected in there to your soul and all that you are, try to release that program of control. And the trying is simply just a surrendering to the soul, asking the ego to surrender to the soul, your mind. allowing that self-love of the ego of the mind that love of the soul and just allowing that soul to come through and clear that program of control Awesome. Now, we're about, while we are holding that space, if the soul has any newer programs to add in, you can just ask that the soul drop in whatever programs serve you at this time. For some of us, it's how to speak our truth in a kind way. Whatever they are, your soul just stands behind you and brings those through for you. Again, we don't have to know or witness any of this. We just hold the space and surrender to the soul. So if you notice within this space, all that peace and ease and calm that is part of being in that field of neutrality. So come back down into the human that you are here and now 
and bringing all of this, just bringing your awareness back to you here and now and bringing in all that that you had right there, all that energy, all those fields and expand. Just expand your heart where you're at right now. Just expand your heart. Expand that out into your awareness. Don't look at anything. Just expand it into your world, into the physical world around you, into all your situations that affect you. Again, we're not here to witness what those are because we don't want to be the judge. We want to stay in our heart. We want to stay in that light. And we just want to expand that light, that light that is you and that light of that field of neutrality. All right, so let's come back in. Let's come back into the heart. You can stay expanded if you wish, but bring your attention back into the heart. Because sometimes when we expand into our greater awareness, it drops us out of the heart space. And that's part of what's going on in this world right now is that there's just so much going on, so much chaos, so much fear. And it is okay. That is part of what this is, is the releasing of fear for each of us and collectively. So if you go into fear, just come back to the heart. Come back to those three breaths. Come back to your heart as that sun, as that creator sun that you are. You are a creator being. Awesome, there you go. You come back into your sun, into your power. And again, you can stand within that pyramid just to help empower you more with your light and that of the earth and that of the universe. Nice. And then just expand out again. And you don't have to look at anything, just expand. Beautiful. So if you can just expand to cover this entire world throughout all time, space, dimensions, realities, you as the multidimensional being that you are here and now, expand through everything that you are here and now. beyond the earth, into the universe, into all universes, into all creation. That was awesome, all of you. All right, we're going to end right there. Everybody's still welcome to jump on chat. Thank you for being here and thank you for being who you are and doing this work. If you choose to continue to do this again and again, and you want to bring in others, is simply being within this space yourself. You get there and then you just invite others into that field, into that pyramid, without trying to fix them, without trying to heal them. 
and just hold space. And that's the same for any situations that we work with in this world. As we're not trying to fix them, we're not trying to heal it. We are simply trying to hold space for its higher connection. That's all we do is hold space for the higher connection. And then things shift on their own and shift in a way that is in alignment with Source, Soul, Universe, and Gaia. Allow them and it to shift in the way that is the most divine. Awesome. Thank you, guys.